and I have a special guest with me today, my dad, Rex. Hello, Girl Scouts. I'm Rex Daisy. I know a little bit about science. What do you know about science? Well, I work in a veterinary vaccine lab as a scientist. So I know a little bit about chemical reactions, and that is one of the things we're going to show you today. We are going to show you some typical chemical reactions that you can do right in your own home. Okay, so to start, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out a half a cup of white vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar if that's all you have in your house. So it's just really simple, just measure up to the half cup point. Then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take like a, a short glass and it could just be a short drinking glass. Um, you may have one of these in your house and, and that's perfectly fine. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and make sure that you put it in the sink away from everything, make sure there's nothing else around it. So one thing to make this extra fun is to add a little food coloring into the vinegar. So to do that, I'm just gonna do one drop. It's a little hard to see because this is green, but just drop it in there. There you go. And I've also added some green glitter to our baking soda to make it a fun glittery explosion. So I pre-packaged glitter and baking soda for all of you and you're gonna wanna help her with you so that you can, they can hold the glass while you pour the baking soda in. And you're gonna wanna make sure you don't spill it anywhere because it is definitely meant to go in the sink. Okay. Now after you poured the glitter in, make sure you go ahead and set it down in the sink and then just to be extra careful, you should always have a pair of safety glasses. I brought these. I don't think those are the right kind of safety glasses. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe it should be more something like this. Yes, there we go. Those are gonna protect your eyes. Keeps everything out of the side and nothing from getting in all around the top. So now is the fun part. We're going to add the vinegar, which is? An acid to the baking soda with the glitter, which is? Basic. And? Green glitter! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. out in the backyard that's a little more explosive than just vinegar and baking soda. Are you ready, Dad? I'm ready, but you if you're going to try this, you have to ask your parents first. You cannot do this on your own or by yourself under any circumstance. all over the news and all over everywhere uh, over the last few years. Now, the reason this works is that there is a chemical uh, coating on the Mentos that when it touches the Diet Coke, it spontaneously causes all of the carbon dioxide that is contained inside of the soda to release at all at the same time. And that's why you see the explosive reaction that you see. So 
in order to facilitate this a little further, what I did was I took uh, a mailing thing that we received at, out of a magazine that we get at home, and I just rolled it in on itself. And with Caitlin's help, I taped it off so that it would maintain its shape. And it makes it just a little bit easier to be able to drop the Mentos down into the coat without having to worry about getting it all over yourself. So I'm going to put just two Mentos into the paper funnel. Okay, here we go. 